Hello FlossTube! Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is episode 21 and I'm Linda and my channel is 144 Hobbies. If you hear some screaming and laughing at in the background, it's just my daughter playing with the dogs. Um, first of all, thank you everyone uh, for watching and hello and thanks everyone uh, for you, uh, the new subbies and for all of you who is sticking with me and returning to my floss tubes. Yes. And I'm just scratching my leg right now because the mosquitoes outside are like eating me alive. Seriously. Uh, each time I go out with the dogs, especially, especially in the, you know, the evening walk, I get at least two new bites and ugh. And uh, my body don't like them too much. I hope this will be a short one because I just, um, I'm kind of in the mood that I just want to sit and stitch and not talk with anyone. So uh, I might <clears throat> be a little bit boring this time. Um, so questions and comments from the last show, there weren't too many. Um, a lot of you guys wished me a happy birthday and I want to say thank you for that. It was very much appreciated. Um, uh, Lori uh, asked if I knew where to get these uh, floss rings or uh, rings that you can open, which you use for flosses. And I told her maybe, you know, you can get them uh, on Amazon. Uh, I don't know, maybe Etsy. Uh, so, but if any of you are watching, uh, please leave a comment for her or me. Um, if you can um, give any ideas. I guess um, she lives in Canada. So there should be some options out there. Um, yeah, that's it. There wasn't a lot of that today. So uh, I've had the week off uh, from work. So I did get quite some time for stitching, but I have been like uh, spending some time with my daughter uh, at her school and making sure she's getting up in the morning and when she got back home to, you know, um, make sure she gets uh, a soft, slow, good start uh, for school. And yes, they have already gotten homework. So I've been supporting her with that. So that takes time. And uh, that's why I feel a little bit all messed up because I need to do some future decisions. But we'll take that in the future. I planned on stitching on my uh, hands across the sea sampler and I planned on stitching on my Mirabilia and heaven and earth and the wheel chose midnight watcher once again and I wasn't too thrilled about that but um, I'm glad it did because it just uh, showed it gave me like uh, that's why I, I'm recording by the way it's uh, I'm all mushy up uh, it's Saturday the 22nd of August and it's like in the afternoon and I couldn't let go of my heaven and earth uh, midnight watcher because I just enjoyed stitching her so much I love stitching skin. I don't know why, but I just love, 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 love it. So I didn't want to put her down. So I was like, I don't know if I should make a floss tube today because I just want to keep on stitching. Uh, but I've let her go now. So yes. And so I'm glad the wheel picked her and I'm like almost hoping that the wheel will pick her again because I want to continue. Um, so those were the three like I'm gonna stitch them this week and I also said well I had 
I think was like 3,000 stitches left on my Grandmaster, which is also the Unheaven and Earth design. Um, because then I would be finished with the 30, uh, 37, uh, 56 color. So I decided I'm going to finish the color because then I'm done with two uh, colors for that design. And I'm, I'm extreme cr cross country stitching, uh, that design. So I'm starting with the, the colors that has the most stitches and I finished that. And then it was the second color. So I actually finished that and we will start showing that. So I actually put in like another 3000 stitches on this. So I'm pretty proud. Let's see. And it's this design, which is just so, so big that I have a hard time showing you on camera. So I will actually try to Let's see here. So you won't see much because the colors are so similar, but I will just roll. So we have the, the top birds here and his head comes along and the neck and then like his clothing. And then we get to the the birds he's holding in his arms and we have his arms and the side of his arms on the dress or the clothing and then further down we have some um, more detail on his dress no clothes so that's like it very boring to look at but I very much enjoy, enjoyed stitching that and finish the colors and the next time I think it will be another bluish color but it will be a darker blue so it's good it's just gonna get better uh, I'm stitching um, the Grandmaster it's a super sized max colors so there's like 230 something colors and I'm stitching on a 25 count using one thread, stitching it over one. Let's see. Yes, and then we have some coffee. And <clears throat> after that, I stitched on my Hands Across the Sea sampler and it's Jane Hearth 1868. I'm stitching it on 40 count uh, linen. Um, I don't know if it's a Newcastle linen. I don't know. It's a 40 count. And I'm using the silk th uh, threads, uh, soy, doll soy doll share threads. And I finished the border. Yeah, look at this. De -de <laughs> so, so beautiful. It's so nice and shiny and I just love it. So this is how big uh, the sampler is. It's one of the little gems. So beautiful, so pretty. Um, I have a picture of it here. I will show how it's gonna look finished. Uh, so yeah, it's so, so pretty. So I think the last time I showed you half the border around was done. So 
one half. I don't know if I stitched on it a whole day. So, but next week I won't have that much time. So, and it's getting crazy on the, in the hospital. So I won't be having a lot of time doing anything. <clears throat> so I'm just going to roll it in. So, and after that, I stitched a little bit on... On my Mirabilia and I'm gonna take her off the the sidebar so you can see the proper the whole thing I could have done this before I started filming but Yeah, let's see. This is Portrait of Veronica. So, very pretty. Um, I wanted to start stitching the light part of her dress. I was very curious of that. And then I continued with some black here. So, very happy with this. Actually, looks very pretty on um, on the the screen here. So it's very nice. Really enjoying Mirabilia, yeah. yeah. So that was that, and oh, of course, uh, Mirabilia is stitched on thirty-two count Belfast linen. No, I don't know if it's Belfast. It's 32 count linen. And I'm using two threads over two. Um, and I forgot to say about the sampler. I said it was a 30, 40 count, but I'm, I'm stitching with one thread over two. So now the fun part. Heaven and Earth Design is what I spent the rest of the week on. So I think I started stitching it Thursday. So I stitched Thursday, Thursday, Friday and some Saturday today. And this is my progress. Ta-da! I just had to get to her face. It's so much fun. It's like, seriously, I don't want to stop stitching her. She's so beautiful. She's so cool. And when I look at the picture, let's see if I can just put a picture of her here as it will look when finished. I mean, is this uh, fantasy uh, harpy? I, I would call her a harpy, you know they're vicious you know if you have ever played world of warcraft and uh everquest uh, well i've played both one and two but especially two the harpies are li like you don't want to mess with them so she's like one of them from the games so she's very beautiful um but i noticed somewhere i've done something wrong over here it's like one row wrong and the same thing here at the the arm somewhere there is some mistake somewhere so i'm trying to take it careful there i want to show her again i think it was about almost four percent finished of the whole um uh, design and and the thing is you know once she is done, I mean, I will probably, if I ever get stitch on her again, I will probably, you know, f finish all of her. And then it's just background is going to go pretty damn fast. So, so that's that. That's the whips I've been working on. No, that's a lie. I worked a, an evening on 
my long dog sampler, the pandemic. Yeah, I did. It's such nice, easy stitching. So it's, it's very relaxing. I stitched uh, everything in here. No, I stitched the people and, and this part. And I started a little bit up here. It's so nice. It's almost like a Christmassy feeling when you look at it. <sighs> yeah, nice and easy. And I'm I'm forgetting all the time to tell you what I'm <laughs> stitching it on. This is 32 count. I'm stitching it with sulky threads, one strand over two. <clears throat> and the Midnight Watcher is stitched on 25 count using one thread over one yes that's the whips two heaven and earths one sampler one mirror and one long dot hell that was a lot it won't happen again for a long time um so i'm very excited what the wheel will tell me to stitch the coming week so we're gonna spin the wheel and get to plans for the coming week. Okay, let's go to the wheel. Heaven and Earth wheel. So it was Midnight Watch Shuttle last time. Let's spin it. <laughs> I vampiri. Oh my god. Okay. I vampiri, you say. Hmm. That is a jasmine uh Jasmine B. Griffith. Oh my god. Let me go get the the whip, my project, and see how, how far I haven't gotten far at all. And it's on twenty eight count. I'll be right back. Yeah. I don't know where to put my microphone. I love this design. We'll put a picture up here how it will look finished. Um, I vampiri pieta or something in Italian, which I can't. I vampiri pieta, something like that. Um, it's one of the first designs I I bought, and I haven't gotten far. And I don't have a thread pack. And it's on. It's on twenty eight count, so. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate stitching on this. I know I said I was supposed to restart it on 25 count, but I don't know. I wanted to just, as I said before, embrace the suck and just go with it. I mean, it can't be that much confetti hell because it's a regular chart with regular, ugh, regular colors. So it's not like Max. So this is yeah, a thread mess. Seriously. Come on. I will stitch this a little bit different. I will my park for sure, but I will not have all these waist knots at the top. I have learned to do different, so that's cool. But yeah. So it's going to be a lot of background stitching. And I'll be happy if I get a thousand stitches in this week, but I doubt it. So I'm going to throw that in my scroll frame today. Um, I actually wanted to show you my sulky threads, by the way. 
no, let's finish the subject. Now I'm just jumping all around and that's so typical me when I have so much, too much uh, things going on in my head. Uh, so yeah, that's the heaven and earth I'm going to stitch on. Uh, I probably will stitch on it like today and tomorrow and maybe Friday and Saturday morning. And in the weekday when I don't have that much time, I will continue with my sampler. I will uh, try it. I know there is like I mentioned it the last time a bird up in the corner and uh, I'm very curious on that. So I will stitch one or two of them. Uh, and I will continue on my Mirabilia because I'm like, I want to, I feel like I, I want to finish the bottom part of her dress and get to, you know, the top and the skin and, and the beading. Oh my God, I can't wait to get to the beading. Uh, so those are the three I'm going to continue uh, stitching on. So uh, if I get an hour and I feel like I just want to do something else, I will jump over to my long dog and put in some stitches there. But so that's the plants. And I just wanted to show you the sulky thread. Um, and I'm using DMC threads on long, the long dog um, for the back stitching. And first of all, I chose uh, this color and it looks very red in the camera. It's not, it's more like a rust, rust color. It's called brick red. So a more like brick red <laughs> color. Um, it's 713.40.07. And the camera won't focus on that, of course, because it's focusing on stuff behind me. And then for the birds, I'm using this red and it's, it looks like Christmas red. It's not. It's a dark, beautiful red color. And it's called, does it say the name on it? No, but it's color 0169. 0169, 69, 0169. Seriously, come on, Linda. This is for the birds and it's not this red. And then for the rest of the animals and like for the people you saw on the whip, it's like the same brick red as there is in the variegated thread. And this also looks very red. It's not, it's uh, very subtle. And the number on that is 1081. So these are like the sulky threads I'm using. And then I found these two DMC threads that matches the solid color threads. Uh, and it works pretty nice. Uh, it's uh, 3721 and 221. 221. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking uh, well. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you the threads that I've picked. I think I showed you before, but I thought it won't hurt to show again. Like so. And then I wanted to show you also like this is my Mirabilia kit, the threads I'm using for that. And then I have the beads uh, somewhere else. I have a Dries, um, Dries trays. I will put them in there later on. And there's quite a few of these um, mixed uh, a symbol which um, represents a mix of two colors and I've just put them on these. They're like um, those 
stitch markers you use when you're st not stitching when you're knitting knit mar markers so I just took three different of them like so with different colors so I know which one is which and I just put uh, like on this one there is a blue DMC and the black DMC so I have them already here So, but this, this is a nice little box for that amount of colors. I, I like that and I have that on the table beside me. And I forgot to show you a portrait of Veronica when I showed my whip. And this is how she looks. So that is that. Um, I have no finishes. Are you surprised? Right, then um, let's jump straight to haul. Um, I will start by saying I bought a sampler from Hands Across the Sea Samplers is one of the the gems and it's called the Checkerboard House EB1860 and I will put a, pay, a picture in here uh, for you guys to see and this sampler has caught my eyes from the very beginning it looked cool it looked different and um, I'm looking forward to stitch this just, you know, for the colors and uh, at the bottom of the house, there's something called a Turkish stitch and it's going to look like grass. So I'm really looking forward to, to try that, to try that out. But I guess that will be like next year. Um, I got me some, some of these rings. There are larger rings. I think it's, they're like two inches. And I'm gonna use them for my floss away bags, which I got a few here. Um, I finally got my Gloriana silk threads for my uh, ink circle design I'm stitching the squirrels of Sumatra and I realized uh, starting when I already started it that I have calculated it wrong the amount of threads so I ordered three new skins and I just I think Gloriana is like my most favorite silk thread I, I love this and the, this color is just so beautiful so the color is acorns, acorns, yeah. And I can see like there is a dilat number on the back. And what I'm afraid of is that it's not going to fit the dilat I have already. But one lady told me to you know, instead of restarting the whole thing, just um, start mixing the threads now. And um, hopefully I won't see the difference that much. So that's a very good advice. And I usually stitch that design when I'm at the dance with my daughter. And the last haul I got was this monthly calendar. It looks like this in the back, no, in, in, inside, and it's for two years. So even though 2020 is almost over, yes, it is almost over, uh, there's another year to go. And yeah, looks like this. And I want to start, um, this is a planner and I got the idea for this one from um, C said stitch. Oh my God. Oh, 
I will, you know, put her name in here. That was just, yeah, I don't know. I mentioned her before, but she has this planner and she has such a cool way of planning out, you know, the whole year, the weeks, the months and how she keeps track on everything. Very cool. I won't do that much planning because I won't be able to keep up. Uh, but I wanted to kind of keep track on what have I been stitching on, uh, like keeping a, a stitch diary. I would like that. And I wanted to for when I'm use when I'm using the, the pattern keeper, I'll be able to kind of write down or record how many stitches I have put in. But the other thing with counting stitches when you you no. Uh -uh. So I will try to remember like to to start a clock or something so I know about how much time I have used. That would be nice. And I can always go back and, you know, think or look what I stitched on. And there's quite a lot of pages with notes. And I think it would be cool, you know, uh, I hope there will be a WIPGO 2021. Even though she's having a baby, I found out today. So big congratulations. Oh, it was such nice to hear. It's like, yeah, it's such a miracle when we are able to get pregnant, really. And uh, so it was so nice. So. If there is no whip go because she won't be able to, that's fine. Really, that's fine. I'm sure someone else can do the whip go or I will do it. <laughs> but however, if there is a whip go next year, I can put in like the board here. Or if I'm doing a bingo or something, I can put it in here. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's like all the, um, the hole I have this time um yeah my thread pack for my new heaven and earth start has been shipped i have ordered the the fabric the same day as it shipped i as i told you so it should be here like within a week or two and i also custom ordered a floss buddy for 90 colors and she has sewed it and shipped that one as well so i'm so looking forward to this it's such a beautiful design and i'm already looking at new heaven and earth designs to start yeah so um actually another funny f feature on heaven and earth designs um facebook group group there's always like the question of the week and this week's question was if there was a a floss color that i you don't like to stitch with and if there is which would it be and i gave it some thought and i was thinking and thinking which color don't i like to stitch with because i know which colors i do like and it was pretty hard to choose I was like maybe thinking a little bit of black but at the same time I like when there's black in it because it gives a good contrast so I think I'm leaning a little bit towards like 939 or 823 I find those a, a bit boring to stitch with or maybe like some gray color yeah so but I would like to know, so please leave a comment down below. Is there a DMC color when you stitch? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be heaven and earth, but is there a DMC color that you don't like to stitch with? If there is one, leave a comment below. That would be nice to know. I love these questions of the week. So um, yeah, so uh, I will go grab my surf pad. And we're going to take a look at oh, some new releases from Heaven and Earth this week. They had some really nice ones. It's old ones, but they're, they're re-released in a different kind of way. 
Um, and by the way, uh, Hands Across the Sea samplers also released a couple of new ones. And I'm going to put the pictures up here. And they, the two last ones I really liked. I haven't bought them. But uh, the one is Jane Hardy, 1840. It's very, very nice. I love the border and the house and everything. It's so, so sweet. I would really like that one. And then, and I think that was like also a little gem. So it's a PDF file. But then they released Marianne. Marianne. I want to say diaper, but I think that's wrong. Diaper? Diaper. I don't know how you pronounce her last name. It's 1826. And it was really, really, really nice. And that's released as a booklet. And I'm very, very, very tempted to, to get that one, actually. Yes. So, pictures here. I'm going to grab it, my pad. So, let's go to heaven and earth. It seems as if the website is down. We'll do like this instead. But then I won't know who are the artists. So these are like fractals. I wouldn't be able to stitch. I mean, they are very beautiful, but I would never be able to stitch that repetitive pattern all the time. No. Let's see. It's sad I can't see how who stitched these, but she is so pretty. So, so pretty. And there's some bees in there and so many flowers and birds. Very pretty. And here we have another. Also a lot of flowers and butterflies. I like the other one better though. She was much more beautiful. And then we have a cup of tea and some books. Yeah, it was pretty. Oh yeah, I like this one. I think this one is without background though. But wow, that detail in that heart, that would be really nice to stitch. Yeah. I think it's going to look pretty cool, actually. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I've seen this one before. It's so sweet with the squirrels and, and the squirrel and the, the little girl there. Yeah, it's too bad the website was down. Oh, this is one of my favorite. It's he. It's the oh, Marciati. Yeah, I don't know his name. So cool with all the animals. That must be so much fun to stitch. Like every animal is a finish. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about this this kind of art, though. I think this is like digi digital art. Uh, it's like, for example, the parrot there to the right. Um, it's uh, it's like it's been cut out and just glued on top of the picture. So it's not like melting in. The same thing with, I think, the tiger there to the left. It's too bad, really. I've seen that in some of the um, Amy Stewart's designs as well. And... Yeah, that uh, makes me not want to get the the designs. 
Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I don't have the design because there are some of the animals I feel like they have just glued on top of the picture. But it's, it's a cool picture. It is pretty cool. Oh, and like my favorite artist, Randall Spangler, and this is Midnight Munchies. Munchies? Munchies? I don't know. Oh, I love this one. It's so cool. And, you know, the shadow, uh, like going up towards the watch, it gives the picture some real nice effect. And you see the cat there in the background <laughs> sneaking, you know, what's he's doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is Linda Ravencroft. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is, uh, what's his name? Um, Miles Pinkney, right? Yeah, and this is uh, a Slay Dragon or something. Dragon Slayer, I think. Yeah, it's so cool. I love this picture. There's just too much background. Yeah. I love his art. And we have another Randall Spangler. And this is uh, Lieutenant something, I think. Captain something. I like this picture. It's a funny one. I look at that. <laughs> the dragon in the background. He's like in a bubble of his head. I didn't see that before. <laughs> They're everywhere, you know. You never know where to find the dragons or the dragons. Here's another one, a new release. Looks kind of crazy, turning around in a circle like that. Very pretty, yeah. So those are the releases. I'm really sorry that um, that the, the website was down. I don't know what happened because the other pages uh, sites on internet worked so it wasn't my internet that didn't work well it's so nothing that we can do about um so that's all for this time um like i usually say let's just stop talking and let's get back to stitching um Thank you for watching. Um, stay safe. Uh, keep your distances. Wash your hands. If you have any symptoms, stay at home. Uh, it's all about hanging in there now. Uh, don't give up or, you know, get tired of keeping the distance. Seriously. Um, We'll, we're gonna beat this thing so just hang in there and keep on following all the guidelines we get from our uh, governments um, and I hope you all will have a wonderful stitchy week um, coming up here I think it's like the last week of August already Jesus so uh, yeah I'll see you in a week. Bye.